Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series of Lawrence Plays. This time I'm going to be tackling Kerbal Space Program. It's been a while since I've played this and I gather there's been a few new change, a few new additions in the uh, in the game since since last time. So there's a um, Breaking Ground expansion apparently which um, adds a bit more science and ability to look at things on other planets and other, other celestial bodies. And there's another one, I forget what that was. But So there's a few new things in there and I guess I'll find out what they are as I go along. So at the moment it's a new game, so I've got my um, everything set up as default. I'm playing in career mode, so I mean, I have to worry about money and about science points, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how I get on. So the first thing I want to do is have a look at some of these missions and pick up the, the easy ones, because um, because I'll get from from doing these, I'm going to get at least a few. Well, one science point for this one, some money, and and oh, and another science point there. Oh, um, and for doing this one, I'll get some more science and some and some money as well. So that'll keep the um, keep the labs running. So for my very first thing, what I want to do is let's see, I want I want I'd like to build basically a rover or something that'll just trundle around on the um on at ground level and allow me to pick up some of the easy science from around from basically from nearby. I think the best way to do that is probably going to be to make an aeroplane that I don't ever actually intend to fly. Let's see if I can do that. So I want to have do I get wheels from this? No ah, okay. No, I can't do any of that because I don't have any um, any wheels yet, so that whatever vehicle I make would just sit there like a lemon. Okay, I'm going to have to make something slightly more, um, slightly more, well, pointless to be honest, because what, what, what we're going to have here is a, um, a capsule with a good tank on the side of it. So I can have a, have a um, grab the science for that, and I'll stick this flea booster on the bottom as well, uh, just so I can get back out and do something else, and, and take off with it afterwards. So. What I'm going to do first, actually, let's take that off. Let's put two on symmetrically to keep the um, to keep it balanced, like that. Okay, that looks like a nice um, a nice grasshopper. Let's give this a shot. So first thing I want to do is pick up the the science from just on the start on the uh, on the launch pad. So I want a crew report from here, which is one and a half science. I want to investigate the mystery goo, which is another three, and I want this guy to pop out like that and do an EVA report from out here. Back in again. Cover the vessel. Not the most exciting mission, but it will at least get me um, get me a few science points that I can then spend on on research. So I got I got six point nine for that. I've got a total of eight. But what I can do now is immediately launch it again and do the hop up in the air thing, like this. Uh, how's my staging? My staging is not. Let's let's set this set up properly. There we go. Um, okay, so I've done everything. All the science from here. Shoot up in the air. Do a science. Do a mystery goo science from here. going up actually that's um, quite high I can't EVA and it's probably not safe to anyway that's yeah 10,000 meters it's not bad for just the, the smallest booster I have just realized that I didn't put a um, decoupler in between the booster and the pod I don't know if my parachute is going to be good enough to um, bring this down gently I can't go sideways because I haven't got any more booster left so I can't I can't go for a splashdown I'm still going up there we go that's the top I wonder if this is anywhere different where do I count as? Flying a curve. And yeah, let's take that one. I can't do another crew report um, because apparently he's only got one notepad or something. I guess so you can only make only make only write down, note, note down one piece of information. Although if you can get if you can get him to get out, then you can make notes of other things as well. But apparently that's not going to happen. Down again. Let's open the chute. And see. Nothing. I'm going too fast. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that again properly. Uh, let's revert <laughs> revert to the vehicle assembly building and put a. Um, decoupler in the middle there. I haven't got a decoupler. Interesting. I thought that'd be something I'd have by now. Let's have a look at the... Let's have a look in the um, R&D area, see if I can research decouplers before I accidentally kill a Kerbal. So we've got here engineering, that gets me... There we go, there's a decoupler. It also gets me a thermometer as well, so I can take a couple of those with me and get a bit more information. I haven't got enough to get basic rocketry as well, which would get me a bigger booster and some proper engines. So I'll take that. There's not going to be anything here yet, is there? No. Go back in here. So as you probably noticed, I'm not going to be playing this sort of hardcore style, so I'm not going to be shy about reverting to launch pad or um, mission control, whatever, uh, vehicle assembly building, if things are going badly, because, well, let's just say I am not. don't think I'm good enough at um, Kerbal to be able to reliably make a rocket that will work first time and then and not make any, and concentrate hard enough to not make any mistakes and so on and so on. I didn't put any thermometers on this one. So see what I mean? I, I just forget things. 
let's put uh, four thermometers on, I think. If I do something like that, hopefully they won't interfere with the with the access hatch. Okay, tell me, no. tell me about the temperature here. There's presumably no point in observing the mystery goo because I've already done that right here. Yeah, it's another 0.7 science, I won't bother with that for now. So let's launch. Observe the mystery goo here. Yeah, take a temperature reading from here as well. And then from whatever the highest point I get to that as well. Because I think that was flying above Kerbin shores, and then I can go flying high above Kerbin, and they're, they're different places, so I get different research for that. It's a little bit min maxi, but it's all important. It's, at this, this stage of the game, you need all the research you can get to try and pick up as many new technologies as you can, as quickly as you can, so you've got something to play with. Otherwise, I'm just limited to lobbing these things up in the air like this and seeing what happens. Still going up to 100 metres a second. Well, a bit less than now. Okay, this is about as high as I'm going to get. Oh, that's one I've already used. How about this one? There we go. Oh, and I can jettison the uh, first stage. There we go. That's apparently lighter. So they've got the same cross-sectional area, pretty much. So the fact that that one shot upwards implies that the, um, the empty booster isn't actually all that heavy. Let's open my chute early this time so I don't screw it up in the same way again. And I'm just going to speed this up because I'm not, I don't really want to watch it gradually as it drifts back down. That's pretty impressive. Uh, just the booster. That's pretty impressive. I uh, took off from there, land, going to land about about here. That's, yeah, given that I didn't have any sort of guidance systems on this uh, booster, that's, that's quite good. Right, let's um, jump out and get some science from here as well. See what, it looks, see what it looks like over here. Now, I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary either. Recover that. See how much science we get from that. Hopefully it'll be enough to move on to the next stage. 39. Oh no, 27 and a half earned, 39 in total. Don't care about the rest of it. Uh -huh. Now I can get some missions going. Um, but only two of them. So escaping the atmosphere should probably be the next one, I think. All of these are um, focused surveys, and those require you to go to quite specific places. Um, and that's always seemed rather difficult to me. I've never managed, never been very good at going there. Um, testing a decoupler at the launch site sounds simple enough. Um, let's do that one. Heat shield would probably be quite useful if I'm going suborbital. Um, I'm a little bit wary about these ones though because you have to be at both that altitude and that speed at the same time. And I always seem to either be going too quickly or too slowly at those times and it, I never managed to get them. Um, liquid fuel engine suborbital, I could probably do that. Uh, yeah, I can get I can get a liquid fuel engine up to 100, 000, 90 to 100,000 metres, I think. And I get some extra science points for that as well, so that'd be a good one to have. Except I can't, because I need to upgrade my um, my admin centre first. Mission control, that one. For 75, yeah, I can afford that. And that'll get me... If I can do this as well, the money will quickly come back in and be worthwhile. Uh, the heat shield, that was one I couldn't do. Radial mount drogue shoot. That's, again, it's an altitude and a speed. Doesn't sound too bad. I mean, I should probably be able to do these, but I'm not certain. So let's accept that. I didn't mean to accept that one, but I have. Um, okay. Let's build a rocket to try and get some of these. So I need to go a bit higher than that. And I need to... Look, let's have a look at the science first, actually. Survivability. So that gets me another... That gets me a barometer, which allows me to do more science. And a service bay and... Oh, there's the drogue chute that I'm supposed to be testing. So I better get that one. And basic rocketry I better get as well, so I can get the... Um, that's the other engine I'm supposed to be testing. Uh, general rocketry I can't afford. Stability I can afford... I don't think I, re I don't think I really care about it at the moment. The radial decouplers might come in useful later, but at the moment, I think I'll save the save the science points and probably try and get the general rocketry after my next next hop. So, let's have a look at this. What do I, what do I need? So I've got my thermometers scattered all over the thing. I can add some barometers on as well. Right. Was, let's have four of them, and I can just put them above the thermometers. And that makes it even easy to get at them, and hopefully they won't. Oh, it's blocking that door a bit. Maybe. Let's try that. So let me just check what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I'm supposed to be taking the taking the drogue chute up to 4,000 to 9,000 meters at a not particularly high speed. So I probably wanted to do that on the way down. Let's whack a drogue chute on the side. There. Um, two is probably going to be plenty. I don't know if I actually have to have it deployed at this point, or if I just have to have it on the on the rocket. But let's do that separately because you want to deploy drogue chutes earlier. Right? Test the decoupler at the launch site. The TD-12 is the standard round one, isn't it? Yes. So I'll put one of those right on the bottom of the rocket. What engines have I got? I've got the hammer. Do you think the hammer will get me to get me to suborbital? Let's find out. Let's put a heat sink, heat shield on as well, though. Oh, I don't think I need quite that much heat shield. Let's take 
some other way to make make it lighter. Yeah, yeah. So you can see as I um, increase and decrease that, the the number of meters per second of delta v I've got at the bottom there changes. So the light the lighter I make the heat shield, the faster, the more the more change of the more acceleration I have available to me. Is there anything else I'm supposed to be doing? Yes, I need another decoupler on the right on the bottom. That trigger that one first. Let's get the atmosphere. That's the plan. I need to take a liquid fuel engine with me. All right then. Fuel tank. Is this the right one? Swivel, yes. Right, let's make sure everything's staged correctly. So I've got that decoupler first, then have that engine, that engine, that decoupler, that engine, that decoupler, that engine, that decoupler, those shoots, and that shoot. Right, that all looks right to me. So I'm gonna, yeah, hopefully I'll pick up all of these. If I can get the, um, the liquid fuel engine up to that height, that'd be nice. I'll find out whether I be going at the right speed at 4000k. I suspect I won't be, I suspect I'll be going much too fast. Okay, suborbital here we come. Take some pressure data. That was a lot of science. Oh no it's not, it was 3.6. I thought I thought it said 36. That seemed a bit unlikely. I've already got the temperature reading from here, haven't I? Yes. Okay, let's do that. And ding, complete that contract. Launch. Going up. Turn on stability. Let's see how we how this goes on. I can now do another pressure reading. Up in the air, so it counts as a different biome. Probably can't do a mystery goo at this point because we've done it. Yeah, it's only point four. So that's a so that fuel booster is now done. How high am I going to get? Not very. Okay. However, I might manage to pick up the. So that's the decoupler. Okay. What about my drogue shoots? I need to be four thousand to nine thousand, and at fifty to one eighty. Too high up now. Well, yeah, I don't really want to deploy them at this point. Let's, um, since, since I've got this engine with me, let's use it to fly over sideways so I'll come down in the water instead of in the, um, where, I, where I started off from. Oh, and it's gone. Jettison that. <laughs> All feels very wasteful. Am I high enough? This is worth doing again. Yes, upper atmosphere. Cool. Well, it's been pretty good from the, for the science, actually. I've, um, got to a sufficiently new place that I've got quite a lot of, um, new readings. And I think some of those are quite high scoring. It's going to be about 20 or 30. Go a bit faster because this is quite slow. Oh, what have I picked up here? Distance covered, altitude covered, land distance. Yeah, that's quite good. And that gets me um, money and science and uh, reputation points as well. So let's see if we can get the uh, drogue shoots. Just need to drop down to 9,000 meters and lose quite a lot of speed as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be going much too fast. Let's deploy the drogue shoots and see if that slows me down enough to actually get me the drogue shoot achievement. Uh, not achievement, contract, that's the word. 180 metres per second. Uh, that's not going to happen. Actually, I could pop the other shoot as well. It's going to slow me down a bit more. I think I might be about, about to get that one. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So, I failed miserably at escaping the atmosphere, but the rest of the other two I did. <laughs> so that was a bit of a success. And I got some... Um, Got some more research points as well, so that's good. I think the heat shield might have been a bit unnecessary, though, if I'm being honest. Is it worth going here? No. Oh, I didn't do a um, crew report. Get one of them from here. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more opportunities to splash down. And... Okay, let's find out what the water temperature is. And the water pressure? If I run out of barometers. I think I might have run out of barometers. Oh, no, here we go. There's another one. And we can pop out and get some EVA information as well. Good. I think that's going to be quite successful from a point of view, at least from a point of view of picking up some science. And early on in the game, the science is the important thing. But yeah, there we go, 56 and a half science, so a total of 82, that'll let me buy plenty of stuff. I've not got so many parts back, but yeah, never mind. Um, and my money's back up at 135,000, so that's going quite well. I'm doing enough of the little mission things that it's that I'm picking up everything I... as so I'm um, spending money as... or I'm making money about as fast as I spend it, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's pick that up as well. Flight control, I can't... Okay, I'm down to 18. I can't afford any, anything else now, except... Nope, can't even afford that. Right, so I can pick up seven of them. Um, yeah, those are, those are doable. Yeah, I'm probably going to use a thumper to take off. Let's have that. Heat shield. Mm -hmm. I'll probably pick that one up by accident as much as anything else. Um, oh, I need to actually tell it to test. Interesting. Okay, well, give it a shot. Focus, 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 focus. And orbit. Well, I'll save that one for... Once I've done the suborbital. Okay, let's have a look. Do I have thumpers now? The other bigger engines. Yes, I do. It's got fleas, hammers, and thumpers. Let's use 
I could just whack two of these on here like that. That's definitely going to get me suborbital. I think that might be overkill though. To be honest, if I just take this bit off and replace it with a thumper, that's probably going to be enough to get me to suborbital. And I've still got the engine in there for testing that. So that'll get me the thumper from, from um, launch site, so I'll get that. Let's get the atmosphere, hopefully that'll get me that one. Heat shield, I do have a heat shield in there. I'll see if I'm um, doing the right sort of speeds for that, <laughs> hopefully I will be. And I've got the uh, liquid fuel engine for suborbital. Right, let's go again. Stability on. Right, this is going to be relatively straightforward. It's just go up and then come back down again. Can I have these? Open? No, not the decoupler. There's no test option in there. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Maybe it is literally just to have these all together. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, there's a bit more fuel in this so in this this solid fuel boost engine. So much bigger. And I think it's a lot more powerful as well, so I'm probably accelerating faster. I'm not sure I'm gonna get up to that speed, to be honest. No, there's not. There's no way. Orbital? Not quite. Okay, I've got this um, extra engine. There we go. Should be enough to get me out of the uh, atmosphere. Oh, I need to get to 90,000. Oh, that's fine. Oh, isn't space pretty? What can I do for research from up here? I can do that one. Is there anything good in the goo? A little bit. It'd be better from space. That's quite good. And that. Is it 80k for space? I can never remember. So if it was in a vacuum, yes, very good. Where should we go this time? I mean, I've got... I've got... Actually, I've got almost no fuel left. Okay, let's just use... Let's just chuck it. So... Why didn't that trigger when I went through... I activate the part through the state? Okay. Um, right. So apparently I need to switch to this one. Will it be enough to activate the part through the staging sequence? Oh, here's a run test. Let's try that on the way down again, because I can't, I can't activate it as such, because it's already active. But hopefully I can do that. Um, once I start to go down again. There we go. Ooh. Ah, fooey. I sped it up too much and missed the opportunity to run the test. Oh. I wonder if I hit the right speed on the way down for this. Um, 1800? No, I'd need to be going about twice as fast. Oh well. I'm coming down in a different place though, so that's a little bit more science. If there's any of my devices left, I can do so. But I'm going rather quickly. It's a worry. Speed is bleeding off very, very quickly though. Okay, I think that's probably going to be alright. I've hardly used any of the heat shield. Okay, so I tested the drogue shoots. I've landed in the ocean. <laughs> I've gone fast. I've gone high. Gone space. Test the booster, space, space. <laughs> the achievements come in thick and fast. Yeah. Oh, no, better up near the one. But I suppose that's fairly normal. It's like leveling up in an RPG. At the beginning of the game, they come in thick and fast because you you get a you get you level up from almost every kill or every mission or something like that. And then later on, it gets a bit harder, and you need to get sort of two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two times as much done in order to level up. Da, 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 da. Is there anything here that hasn't run? There we go. To find out what the atmosphere is like over the grasslands. And uh, that's not very interesting. And coming in for a touchdown. Bump. Okay. That was a reasonably successful mission. I completed a couple of the um, things that I was intending to do. And the other ones, well, one of them I should have been able to do, but I wasn't being, I wasn't watching properly. I don't actually, I still, I'm, I'm still not sure if I've been able to have done that um, booster one, because I don't know if I'd have been able to activate it at the right time, because I'd already used it in order to get up into space. But, oh well. Okay, so now I've got 80, 89 science. That's, that's quite good. Go for advanced rocketry. That gives me bigger fuel tanks for my liquid engines. Stability I decided I didn't care about. Ah, oh, this is quite useful because I might be able to get some tourists if I have this one. Let's go for that. And flight control? Meh. I don't care about being able to control in flight. And I can't afford anything else anyway. Escape trajectory? I don't think I'm going to get on an escape trajectory at any point soon. No tourists yet. Um, Orbit is going to be the next one to do then. Radial decouplers. I'm not really using those. 170, 170 to 180. That's pretty high. I'm not going to be going there for a while. Um, radial mount parachutes. Yeah, I might use that. Ac activate when it's like... Mm, yeah, I could probably do that. And I'm not doing any of those focused ones. They're difficult as, as, um, as previously discussed. Right, so... Lots of money. Let's see... Okay, let's try for get, let's try to go to orbit now. Oh, I know what I will do actually. If I upgrade my astronaut complex, then I can get more complex astronauts, and they're going to be able to go to they're going to be able to EVA when they, um, in places other than when they're just, when they're landed on Kerbin. That'll that'll help a lot. So, how much does it cost to upgrade this? More than I've got in this. 
I could, I could upgrade that one. I'll probably end up making something too heavy at some point, so let's have the better launch pad. Right, orbit is difficult, as we um, probably all know. So getting to space is relatively easy. I mean, we did that with just this massive great Roman candle stuck on the back of the um, of the rocket. But actually, what's that? Oh, the tricky part isn't so much the getting to space. It's the um, once you're up there, going fast enough that you can keep you can stay in space and just keep going round. So let's put in. Oh, I've got a slightly bigger fuel tank. Let's keep that engine wherever it went. There it is. And we'll have a hammer booster, I guess. That extra kick up into orbit. And I think I want. Do I have radial? No, I don't have radial couplers. Okay, that's just going to go on the bottom of here then. But it's going to have a couple of friends. So do the old sort of Falcon Heavy style design. There we go. Might go into space. So I've got. Let's see. Well, I've got. 880 meters a second squared here. I've got 761 here and 690 here. I, I honestly don't know if that's enough to get to orbit. Um, I think orbital speed is a couple of thousand, so maybe. There's also the slight risk. What's that? There's also the slight risk of getting to space and not having enough juice to get back again. Uh, but I think I should be all right. I think I've got. I've got a liquid engine as my top stage, so I can choose how and when to use that. So let's make sure this is right. Two. No, they all want to go together. And decouple, engine, decouple, engine, decouple, shoot, shoot. Good. Let's see if we can get to orbit. Okay, everything seems alright, I think. What am I trying to test at the moment? That's... Oh, I didn't bring one of them, so I can't do that. The heat shield... I might be coming in hot enough to do this one this time. We shall see. And I hopefully will be high enough up when I stage to be able to do this. We shall see. Okay, up, up and away. I'm also going to try and do a gravity turn, which is where you use the um, the way the planet is spinning to try and give you that little bit of extra boost to help you get into orbit with um, slightly less fuel. Than you. So see how it goes. Getting a bit toasty, I think. I'm going to wait a minute or two. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Oh, I'm going to say. <laughs> um, right, that's not ideal. Um, I'm going to wait for the rocket to get a little bit higher before I fire off the second booster because then there'll be less aerodynamic force to worry about. Although that said I'm now basically out of the atmosphere so I think it's probably quite a good time to fire it if I can get the rocket pointing in the right direction. Yeah, I think be good. Right, let's have a look at this. The... I'm not quite high enough yet but when I am I'll activate it and then apparently run the test and we'll see if that gets me the, gets me the science. The throttle is set to zero, so I'm not going to get any thrust from it. Oh, that did it. There we go. Excellent. So I've got apoapsis 180. That's a bit of a waste, to be honest. It's a bit too high. I could have used the fuel better to get myself a bit more speed. Already got that one. And already got that one. Okay, that's fine. So what I want to do is fire the engine as a, for a boost as when I get to more or less to the apoapsis. And that way it's the most efficient way of using the, the fuel, what little fuel I do have in order to try and get myself get myself into orbit. So I don't know if I'm actually going to have enough enough fuel to get the speed up that far. So here it goes. Can't do that wrong because I have done orbit curbing. Oh, we'll see. Right, it's about there. Full thrust. Ooh, maybe. It's going to be close. No. Okay. I'm not going to stay in space today. I just, uh, the rest of the mission has gone quite well. I think what I'm going to do is just carry on on this trajectory, splash down over here, see if I can pick up the um, the heat shield research thing, and then try again but fire the thumper a lot later and try and use it to get speed rather than height. Uh, it's lovely and peaceful just drifting through the um, upper atmosphere. like No, deep space like this though. <laughs> Oh, I could EVA now. I can do this, so I can get. I can find out what what um, Jeb thinks about being out in space. He thinks eight science. Good. Oh, and by this point, that means I can do it in the various different places as well. So I'll keep that. Or I can collect data from these, but I won't be able to reset them. I think uh, there's no point. I expect that to come back down with me. Actually, it might get really hot on re-end. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure what I've done at this point. <laughs> I think I might have accidentally the um, the mystery goo and lost the data from it. Oh well, there's no point in keeping. There's no point in keeping the um, engine. That's just extra weight. Flip round, point back. We that way. There we go. <laughs> Turn the pilot on. That would help. 
Okay. Sky seems to be mostly below us. Yeah, that seems like a fair description of space. I'm sure, there's a way to. There we go. Oh, I don't know whether I got that data or not. I guess we'll find out. Right, let's speed up until things get a bit more exciting. So it'll get interesting when I get down below 58,000 if I'm doing suitably high speeds. <laughs> That's very fast for and quite low. Uh, now I'm going too fast as well. How do I do this? Run test on the heat shield. There isn't a run test on the heat shield. <laughs> oh, well, that's... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Oh, I'm too low now anyway, but... Those were all lit up. It says, run test. But there isn't a run test on the heat shield. What's that? Is that the, the heat shield overheating? Sure, Maybe it's one of the things I've got clipped on the outside of the um, capsule. I'm losing speed, but anyway, so that's the important thing. Now I use... 32 of the um, ab ablativeness on the on the heat shield. No, I didn't. I started this at 80, didn't I? He's 12. I could bring a lot less heat shield with this with something this lighter. Like another stuff coming up. So, yeah, I can't see me coming down anywhere other than to here from here. Even at four times speed, six meters per second over several hundred meters takes a while. And good. I've done an EVA from in the water already, haven't I? So this isn't going to get me anything useful. No, I don't think so. And probably done goo from here as well. Oh no, I have. Haven't, sorry. Said that one. Well, that was a partial success. I um, tested a couple of things. Tested the tested the, Atmo, the rocket boosters. And I tested something else. Got 20 more science, so that was good too. But I didn't quite make it to orbit. It's a bit of a shame. I reckon I probably could get to orbit with that rocket. I do, but... Yeah, so I tested the swivel fuel engine, the liquid fuel engine. I got a bit more money for that, so that's kept me above 200,000, despite my spending on the launch pad earlier. And I've gone high and gone fast and gone far and, yeah, stuff like that. So that'll allow me to get this one, which is, gets me the bigger fuel tank, and that'll definitely allow me to get up to speed. So let's take that, and we shall swap the current... Oh, no, actually, let's see if there's any useful missions to do while I'm up there as well. Turbo fan engine. <laughs> Maybe. No, none of those look particularly good. Let's... Go in here. I'll swap the um, the fuel tank I was using before for a one that's like twice as big. That one, 400. All right, let's try that again. Got more fuel this time, and I'm going to fire the thumper. Thumper? That one anyway. That solid rocket booster. Much later on, like when I get pretty much to the apoapsis. And I'll try and do a slightly more aggressive gravity turn as well. Now I just need to get the fast, and so I'll fire the I'll fire the thumper off when I get to about somewhere up here, and that'll help on to, for two reasons. One is one because I won't be going as fast through the atmosphere, and also because I'll be pushing once I've already got once I'm already up towards the apoapsis, so the, we should raise the periapsis much more efficiently. So from about here, I set the to boost as hard as I can across. Okay, you can see the. Um, my trajectory expanding rapidly. probably enough. Oh dear, that's slightly, slightly too late. Might still be okay though. Yeah, I think I'm slap bang on. No, well, I was slap bang on the other purposes. Now, there we go. Oh, that's gone higher than I needed it to. But never mind. Oh, I was looking at it from a funny angle. I, I'm still not very good at this view, basically, to be honest. <clears throat> so that's, yeah, 73 and 222. That's probably got me the, yes, that's got me the um, orbit, orbit Kerbin achievement. That's good. People are excited about it, so they're giving me money. That's nice. That's pretty much how science works, I think. It's done that one. We'll see if we can get the heat shield on the way back in, although that looks like there's a glitch there, so I'm just not going to be able to get that one. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I can't do the radio parachute, of course. Right, well, let's, having got up here, let's let this um, Kerbal have at least one orbit. Fly around, see the sights. Not got very much fuel left. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to, to get him home. We shall see. Okay. Beautiful sunrise. So in order to get back down, if I wait till he get back, gets back round to the apoapsis, I can fire backwards a little bit. 
and that'll pull the peri down into, basically into the atmosphere. It's almost there as it is, and that'll provide enough um, aero braking to bring me to bring the uh, rocket down and back down to Earth. Well, back down to Kerbin. So I need to point, point this way. Uh, probably don't need full throttle. There we go. That's probably enough, to be honest. I think what I'll do is have a bit of a re-entry burn. So when I get to about here, fire the fire the booster and slow it slow it down a bit. So it's not quite there's not quite as much speed and heat for the heat sink. What's it called? The um, ablative thing, heat shield. That's the one to to get rid of as as we come in. So I'll speed that up, and then it'll drop automatically when I hit the atmosphere. I think. I hope. Yep. That's just like that. So again, we want to point the craft backwards and then just wait for things to get a bit toasty. And we're currently, as you can see, currently basically doing orbital velocity, so 2,400 metres a second. And that's a lot of speed to get rid of um, just by ramming into air. Where do I reckon I'm going to come down? That's going to pull in a lot, so... Yeah, probably, I suspect I'll probably drop down in these mountains around here. That'd be quite nice. haven't seen mountains yet. This presumably is, somewhere, is supposed to be somewhere where an enormous asteroid struck the uh, planet at some point in the distant past. You've got a massive crater with the island in the middle of it. I wonder if that's where the Circle C on the Discworld came from, because it's the same sort of shape. Ah, there we go. That's um, a bit of heat and a bit of speed. Let's uh, use up the rest of the fuel and then the solid engine. Now here we see the difference between the, um, the solid fuel boosters and the liquid fuel engines. The liquid fuel engines are a lot more complicated, so they're, and they're a lot heavier, which is why that one is still accelerating away from me, because it weighs more than this... Um, capsule does, whereas with the solid fuel engine I had before, it was the other way around. I jettisoned it and it went backwards. That was quite weird. Then I missed the um, Using a bit more of the heat shield this time. Um, that makes sense though, because it's going a lot, a lot faster. So, actual orbital velocity. So there's a lot more of the uh, heat to be there. you think they could have done something a bit more effective with the uh, textures of the water, wouldn't you? And given that you spend so much time flying in at, um, from high altitude, over over it at high altitude, it's not like something like GTA where you're not expected to see it from up here. Some sort of macro textures in here would have broken it up nicely and made everything look a lot better. I did see some sort of mention of um, graphical mods for it actually that improve the um, improve the quality of the textures and things like that. I might have to look into that. Yeah, a bit more. Um, does that make it more YouTube friendly? I don't know. I've got a reasonably good graphics card, so it should be able to keep up with some. Some extra pretty graphic. So that I've got got a reasonably good graphics card, but the um, the heat the fan for it isn't actually running at the moment. Uh, I need to hook that up to something. Uh, yeah, whatever. I think this is going to come down in the water again, <laughs> a bit short of the uh, a bit short of the land. I could jettison the heat shield at this point, making this bit. Oops, that went upwards. I was not expecting that. I was expecting the heat shield to be quite dense actually, and also because I'm under the drogue chutes, I was expecting that to be slowing the. Uh, the um, the pod down, and therefore I was, yeah, I did, I didn't expect the heat shield to go upwards. Basically, anything useful you can tell you so about here? No. What I should have done while I was in orbit was take lots and lots of EVA reports as I was going round and round Kerbin um, over all the different um, types of terrain. But think of it. Next time I go up there, and I'm sure there will be a next time fairly soon. All right, touch down. Splash down. 10.4 science, that's a start. It's got, it's got me over 50, which is good, because I think there was something that required 50. Got some bits back, got crew back. Ah, he's, at last, Jeb's advanced to level 1. That's good, because that means that means now he's capable of um, flying the ship a bit more intelligently. So not he's not just able to carry on going in the direction I've told him to keep it going in. He can also uh -huh. adjust it and make, make, make the ship go points forward or backwards, or probably other things as well. Moon. I'm not going to get to the moon for... A while, I suspect. Uh, get to let's fly, fly by, and return. That's I don't know. It's just more. That's just more boosters, isn't it? Really, flying to the flying to the moon. Let's let's take that. I'm not using turbo fans. I'm not doing planes. I'll probably take one of those with me to the moon potentially. Um, yeah, and I'm going to need a much bigger rocket for that. So I'll probably want some radial decouplers and maybe asparagus. It. I don't know. Now probably won't. I'll probably use solid boosters for that. Okay, um, tell me about the moon. I mean the mun. Is it is it mun with a with an umlaut? So it probably still be pronounced moon. I'm sure it is sometimes, but it's just the mun there. Uh, I don't really know how to translate altitude into delta v requirements. Um, hmm. I think what I'm probably going to do now 
So this is this is enough to get to orbit, but it's going to need a lot more than that to get to the moon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call the end of the episode there, and I'm going to go and do a little bit of research and see if I can see if I can find out how to find out how far away the moon is by delta v, because then I can come up with some sort. Of, rather than just building bigger and bigger rockets and seeing if they can get there, I can actually try and design one appropriately that's supposed to be able to get there and has a sensible amount of thrust available, a sensible amount of fuel available and so on, rather than just going bigger, 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 oh yeah, that's made it, good. So, I mean, this this one was quite nice for getting to orbit, that worked, that worked well, it was able to come back as well, which is even better. Um, but for the moon, it's going to be a little bit harder. Stability, um, these nose cones could be nice. Flight control, nah, that's only relevant for rare airplanes really, I think. Heavy rocketry I can't do yet, can't afford it. Is this all 90 up at this level? Yes, it is. Don't care about aviation, I don't think. Is any of this stuff useful for making a, um, a rocket? I don't think so. Some of this might be. Reaction wheels are quite good, because they allow you to turn the rockets a bit more effectively. But I think... Oh, that's the radial decoupler I need for one of the research things. Let's, okay, let's take that one then. Then I can do the, um, then I can do the research, at least. <clears throat> I can afford to upgrade this building as well, so I'll do that. That means I can make a rocket that involves more parts, and that's probably going to be required. I'm going to need to throw more and more and more boosters at it to get up there, I'm sure. Um, the tracking station... <clears throat> You can get patch cars. Probably don't need patch conics just yet. Space plane hangar. I'm not touching. Astronaut complex. I've already upgraded that in order to get the um, what's the name um, EVA walking. Admin building. Um, could do fundraising, I suppose. Spend some of my um, some of my star power. I think doing these ones that get me extra science is probably quite useful. That loses me science. That's not so useful. Gets me reputation instead of money. Makes things cheaper. I, money isn't a problem at the moment. So I think I should probably do a couple of these ones. Um, I lose 5% of my reputation gain, but I do get some... Ooh, okay, let's stick with a low number on there because it's going to be expensive in my star power. Yes. Oh, okay, I've got quite a lot of star power. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll do. I'll get me a bit more, a bit more research available anyway. Right. Well, I think that's a good place to end the episode. As I say, num episode 2 can be an attempt at a moonshot. Uh, I'll be building, obviously, building a much bigger rocket for that. Uh, it's been quite nice to take a scientist along as well in order to fiddle with some of the, um, what do you call it? Fiddle with some of the science pods to re rejig them so that they can run a second time. Um, but for now, I don't have the uh, somewhere something big enough to put him in, so I'll, I'll have to wait. So yeah, thank you for watching this uh, first episode of Lawrence Plays Kerbal. And in the next episode, as I say, I'm going to go to the moon. This one, we've achieved orbit, so we're already ahead of Blue Origin. That's a pretty good start, I think. As ever, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.